Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. As you can tell, I'm sitting in the car making this intro in my driveway so I don't forget. All right, on today's schedule, we're going to go thrifting together, of course. What's a video without some thrifting? We might pull shipping together. These will be the solds for the weekend. Now, as you know, I am known for picking up craziness and um, that is always serving me well. And I always like to share that with you guys. I also show these things on my Instagram so you can give me a follow over there, Lavender Clothesline, where I love to report back to you guys what kind of profit things are bringing. All right, let's hit the road. Let's get going. Let's go see what we can find to flip for a profit. Okay, we are in Shillington Goodwill. Today is $2 Tuesday. What that means is the color tag of the week becomes $2. The only problem is they pull the color of the week before we get a chance at them. As you can see, lots of yellow and green. A few red ones, but not too many. And red is the color. Oh, there's one. So I'm not quite sure why they always pull. Kind of cute. Casper, not a name I usually pick up. But I do change my buying practice for the $2 day. Maybe I will pick this up for $2. Um, yeah, not too many red tags. A few of them. Looks like this side maybe didn't get done. This is J. Jill, kind of plain. Going to leave that one behind. So I don't buy everything for $2. Get lost, get found, life is good. All right, we'll take that for $2. But this whole side has been pulled. I'm not quite sure where those wind up. I think they have to get a jump on it, but really makes the sale kind of like disappointing. Come on, Goodwill, don't pull the color tag of the week until we have a chance at the $2 per item. All right, so I can see this side has a few. Here's one here, red tag. So $4.99 becomes $2. Now, any other day of the week it was on sale, it was two fifty. dollars So that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the items that were like $15 or $20 and are now $2. That's what we want to see. As you can see, the men's pants, this whole side, no red tags, one. Huh, very disappointing. All right, but we're going to do hard goods today, and I also pulled some vintage clothing, which I'm going to show you. I will do a haul right in the store. I love to do that for you guys. Just put items on the end cap and show you what I've found. I found a couple of really fun vintage dresses. Now, I don't do a lot of vintage, but when I find good stuff, absolutely. Here is a top, so $4.99 becomes $2. It just has this little size tag. See this? That just means it's an off-brand, just very mass-marketed, very cheap quality. And don't even buy that at 50 cents. Nope, not happening. Here is a red tag here. So this is what I do. I just scan the aisles to see if anything pops out at me that might be higher quality. This is Cuddle Duds. Let me see if I can get this out. Not really worth the $2. It's a layering piece not going to get more than, I don't know, maybe six bucks for it. So like I said, I am looking for items that, you know, I can make a really good profit on. Here's White House Black Market. That's not bad. It's a medium. I might take that for $2. I'd be happier if this was, you know, a plus size, but beggars can't be choosers. Why not? Why can't beggars be choosers? All right. Is that even how that goes? I'm not even sure. So I'm just going through quickly. Not too many people in the store yet. When I come into a store, the first thing I do is look at the new merchandise, the new carts or racks being rolled out. That is the secret to finding good things. I'm sure you guys all know that secret. All right, so we're gonna make a U-turn, come back down this aisle. Some nice items, but they've been up pricing lately. I think because they do the $2 sale and then they don't give us the $2 sale. Okay, this top is very fun, but it's a petite. A petite is much harder for me to sell than the regular sizing. $4.99, that is super cute. Kind of like that for the holidays. Like I said, petite, and it's a petite petite. I don't know what that means. To a small petite, I would imagine. All right. Call out if you see a red tag. Aeropostale. All right, so maybe we will go over to like jackets and um, dresses and a few different items that would normally be up priced. And that way we can scan it real quick. 
sorry, I always interrupt myself. I like to see certain prints. I thought this might have been Liberty of London. A little bit like that. We'll go to items that are normally higher priced. Roger is driving today and um, he'll probably show up here later. This is one of his favorite stores. He comes here, I'm gonna say four or five days a week now. The man does volume. All right, back doors are opening. I know the sounds of all the Goodwills, so I know the sounds of back doors opening and new inventory coming out. Let's go take a look at new inventory. So the back doors open, two racks came out. I grabbed a few pieces. Like I said, I'm gonna show you a haul right in the store of what I found, but look at this embroidered piece. Not Johnny was, but I love embroidery, so pretty. Oh, we've got trilling babies. All right, so what was I saying before the doors opened that I do know the sounds of the doors. When you become really good at it, you can tell the doors opening in, which means an employee going into it, and um, the doors opening out, meaning most likely inventory coming out of the back. Yep, I'm that obsessed. All right, beautiful velvet jacket. This is Tesso Elba. Not a great seller. Oh, it is red tag. Look at that velvetness. All right, hmm. Velvet is hard because if it has any marks or stains, very hard to get out. Definitely needs to be dry cleaned. I always look underneath the collar for any signs of like little moths or anything like that. This is the label. Like I said, not a real high end, but for $2. Okay, always check your cuffs to make sure that all your buttons are there. And the cuffs are gonna have the first sign of stains and damage usually. All right, for two bucks, I'm gonna grab this. That is a good one. All right, recently I've been selling quite a few men's sport coats. I don't know if that's changing from um, during COVID. You couldn't even sell a sport coat or a jacket. Nobody was going anywhere. But now it seems like men's sport coats and jackets, the sales are picking up for me. All right, see, I'm scanning for red tags. I don't see a one. Oh, good, well, don't be crazy. See, look down the aisle. See all of these tags? They're all yellow and green. What is that about? Not a red tag. All right, we're gonna do some hard goods too while we wait for other new carts to come out. And let's see what we can find in hard goods. We are starting in the lamps aisle. Even though this is not a lamp, that is such a pretty dish, $3.99. Hello, handsome. <laughs> I should get that for Roger, but somebody crossed it out. Oh dear, don't wanna live in that household. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, this is kind of cool, $7.99. I do like this, although the bottom of the lamp is open. I do not like that. That seems very not well made. Let's see if we can see a maker's mark. Pretty shade, gotta say that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we want an open bottom lamp? I don't know, I just don't feel good about that. I feel like that should have a bottom. All right, you guys know I've been looking for living room lamps and the other day I gave up. I couldn't handle the dark living room anymore and just went to, I think I went to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, one of those, and found two lamps on clearance. And of course, when I was there picking up lamps, see, new cart coming out. Let's go chase that rack, I should say. Um, I picked up some new pillows and things for the living room to finish it off. When we built the addition, I wound up taking things from the pre-existing space and putting it in the new space, so. Yeah, all right, so this is what new look like. Wilson, I don't even know what that means. Oh, Governor Mifflin. I think that is a high school team. Nine West. So none of these are gonna be red tag. They're all gonna be black tag because they're just coming out. So we're gonna go through. This is kind of pretty. Who is making this? Oh, this is Japna. I'm gonna grab that and take a look at that. That's a maybe. How much do they want for it? $6.99, kind of pretty. More new carts. All right, I'm not gonna be able to film and look through all of this. Siren. Oh, Madras plaid. This used to be so hot and do so well for all me. All right, we are back in hard goods. Told you, my shopping style is crazy. 
Look at these frames. Oh, these are pretty. Smith and Thompson, eight by tens. What do they get for these? Wow, these are heavy. Let me just put this in here. $3.99 for two frames. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those in the cart. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, people just cut me off. <laughs> it's all fair. It's all fair in thrifting and war. Just kidding. All right, let's go down an aisle where there is nobody trying to push past me. Is this vintage? Oh, I really like him. I don't know that it's vintage, but that is kind of cute. Huh. All right, oh, just saying. <laughs> Not gonna buy it, but that is cute. Oh, back door's opening. Oh goodness, are they bringing out more clothes again? Hmm, standing on my tiptoes. No, I think somebody was just coming out the back. All right, I'm telling you what guys, this video is gonna be crazy, even a little more crazy than my normal crazy. So bear with me. I have a full day of thrifting ahead of me. We are gonna be at a couple of stores, I think. I can never tell with thrifting. Sometimes I just plug in and stay in the same store anywhere from, I mean, one time. Okay, this is going down a rabbit hole. One time, I was, maybe more than one, I was at a Goodwill from nine in the morning till they closed nine at night because it was a 50% off sale and it was off of everything. Everything that was coming out of the back, everything. And it was just too good to leave. I think that day I filled 12 carts. That's not the normal. Normally I'm in an average store, probably four hours, I'm gonna say. Yep, in the same store. But if the store is really good and they have good inventory coming out of the back, I will plug in and just stay there till I feel like I've exhausted all the resources. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, this is because I'm a full-time reseller. I support myself, I pay my mortgage this way, all my bills, everything, all my insurances selling on eBay. So that is the story there. Let's take a look at over here. This seems to be almost like a Hubley cat. I don't know what this is made out of, some sort of stone. It's been repainted. $3.99, will somebody want that? Mm, not crazy about him, he is vintage, but not a good face. All right, what else do we see here? A horse and foal who have lost their ears, unfortunately. It is really good to see that the shelves are stocked. When I came here a couple of weeks ago, the shelves were very empty. And it was because they were putting in all of this new black shelving. I guess it fits more inventory because there are more shelves, but yeah, imagine what you can do. Oh, this is cute. I don't want to ship that. Looks cheaply made, but that is adorable. Dr. Seuss. Okay, again, I hear new carts, but we're gonna stay plugged into an aisle so my whole video is not me running back and forth. You guys are always so patient with me. It's a little creamer with cats on it. Catzilla by Candace, somebody, writer? Writer, that looks like. I do kind of like that. I wonder if this brings any money. I might pick that up. Well, where's the price? Oh, no price. We know what that means. Goodwill has a strict rule around here. If there's no price on it, they won't, um, they won't sell it to you. So I will let them know that there's no price on that. Take time to sit by the sea. We don't have a sea here in Pennsylvania. That was one of my first questions when I moved to Pennsylvania. I asked one of the neighbors, so where do people swim? And they just looked at me with this blank expression like, what? <laughs> swimming was always a big part of my life on Long Island. My kids were raised swimming, so. Okay, somebody just hit me in the back of the ankle. My word, people are just, I don't know. Maybe I'm not moving quick enough. Oh. Here's a Florentine tray in green. I recently found a round tray. Where did I find that? I was at Roots. You guys want me to say Roots. 
and I say roots because I'm from New York. Roots. <laughs> but the locals do call it roots. Just like when I came to Lancaster, boy, I'm chatty today. When I came to Lancaster, I said Lancaster and everybody correct me, Lancaster. So that one I have learned, but roots is probably gonna be roots for the rest of the time I live here. Oh, this is Chirp. This is Lennox Chirp tissue holder. Ah, oh, that might be good. There it is, Chirp. I recently won a very big set of dishes, $2.99, that is really good. A uh, big set of dishes in this pattern and they were for Lisa. I'm gonna put that right in the cart. It's good pickings today. Look at my cart and I've only been here like half an hour. All right, I know you guys love me. You'll put up with my chattiness this morning, won't ya? And I think I had like half a cup of coffee, so just excited. Let me pull over to the side. Oh, we have some brass and copper wool decor. I do like these, so those are going in the cart. I do well with these. Now, I've never seen them with this copper-colored floral thing. That's kind of cool. $2.99. There are the little leaves for $2.99. Where is the other one, though? Oh, I see. Huh. I don't like the edges of the flowers, though. They're blackened, like the flower is dying. And here's a bag of them. Interesting, yeah, those have some issues. The big ones look okay. I'm gonna stick with the big ones. Not too many people here today, which is so nice. So, so nice. Do I wanna go down the electronics kitchen tool aisle? No. Er, you turn. <laughs> Okay, lots of figurines and angels. Most of it I don't pick up. Ah, what is this sweet little thing? Oh, this holds jewelry. $1.99, that's really nicely made. All right, what could I get for that? Maybe $10? I think I'm putting that in the cart. I do like that a lot. It's like a, like a brass and enamel. So I'm gonna stick that right, right there. Okay, this is soapstone, marble, onyx, alabaster, one of those stones. Let me get out of the way for this big cart coming around. Frog on a lily pad, $1.99. Somebody gave up their frog collection. Oh, a dangly leg frog. Oh my word. <laughs> I am just so old. All of this stuff gives me joy. Setting up the frogs. Oh, I thought this was glass, but it's plastic. Lots of odd things on the shelf today. I'm kind of liking this. A ceramic Trojan horse. Let's see what he's about. Oh, he's heavier than I thought. Oh, he's got vintage felt. For those of you new to my channel, I always look at the felt on the bottom to see if I can tell the age of the felt. And that gives me a little bit of a clue of how old the item is. $4.99, hmm, I think I'm taking this guy. So while jeans, women's jeans are not my favorite, I will look at pants in the $2 sale because I noticed that this aisle, they have not removed the red color tags. See them all? So we're gonna quickly go down here. It's a pair of Gap chinos. They seem to be in really nice condition. Extra large, I'll get these for $2. So I'm gonna grab those. Like I said, I don't normally buy everything at full price that you'll see me pick up here. So I don't want anybody to be confused. Like this is Sonoma. I would never pick up Sonoma and I won't even pick those up for $2. $2, I kind of change what I'm doing because the buy-in price is so low. I have to broaden the field of what I pick up. Let's take a look at what this is here. David Dart, those are vintage. I'm gonna wait on those. So lots of red tags for jeans. I'm sure there are some that are very good. Nine West, kick flares. Yeah, 
I've almost sold out of my women's jeans. I probably have, if I had to guess off the top of my head, maybe less than 30 pairs, which is great because I had hundreds and I have sold them off. So that is a wonderful thing. Women's jeans for me were a very hard seller because women are very particular about what jeans and the size and the way it fits their body. So it becomes a whole thing. I do always include measurements in everything in all my listings, but even so, okay, I kind of like these for me. Very stretchy and comfortable looking. $8.99 though for Old Navy. Yeah, I'm going to wait on that. I could almost get a pair of pants like that at Old Navy for $8.99. Now, if they were $2, I would grab those for myself. Looking forward to a winter of coziness, fireplace going. You know, that's in my head. In my head, the story is always much different than real life. Real life, Roger and I are working so much. Some nights we have peanut butter and jelly for dinner. No lie, because we are just running. I finally got some grocery shopping done, which is just amazing. So we have been actually eating regular meals. Well, I won't say regular meals, but more normal Oh, this is pretty. What is this? This is fabric. Okay, this is really nice fabric. I'm not seeing a tag. What do they want for this? Where are the prices today? Yeah, I really like that. Let's pull this to the end cap so we can take a look. Oh, it's quite a bit by the weight of it. All right, I don't see a price on this. Goodwill's going to drive me crazy. This is like the 10th thing I found this morning with no price. I know they are super working hard. All right, I'm going to see if I can get a price. Most likely they're going to say, nope, if it doesn't have a price, you can't have it. Yeah, that's really nice fabric. It's like a woven tapestry. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open this up to see if I can find a price tag. Here is a new rack that just got rolled out. And while I didn't find anything that I really wanted, I wanted to show this to you guys. So this is a velvet evening dress and the maker is Betsy and Adam. I don't know that I've ever heard of them. I'm sure I haven't just forgot, but if I was gonna buy this, I would buy this for the rhinestone jewelry. So that is a really good tip in my opinion. I have done this quite a few times where somebody has left a piece of jewelry on the item they wore when it got donated and I bought the item not for the clothing. I probably re-donated it, but I bought it for the jewelry. This is a piece that is older and I am considering it. It's got a little bit of a yellow hue to it but the piece is really nice. Let's see what they want for the dress, $6.95. So you'd be getting a piece of jewelry for $6.95. All right, that is really nice. Again, I don't like the gold color of it, like not gold, but the yellow color of the stones. So I'm gonna leave that one, but I figured I'd bring it to your attention that when you're looking at evening clothing, especially, or blazer jackets, you wanna see if anybody has left any good jewelry on it, and then go ahead and buy the item for the jewelry. So it turns out the fabric, I did want it. It doesn't have a price. It has to go through reprocessing, a little frustrating. And I'm like, all right, let me go look at hard goods. This is an adorable miniature. You guys know how I feel about little tiny paintings, artwork, I got excited no price so in this store when there's no price you can't buy it it's just crazy that is like the 10th item today with no price on it that the item can't be purchased i don't know if people pull the stickers off or what is going on i think if it's something that's you know just an ordinary item they should be able to price it i kind of get it that they needed to go through the system but it just makes it very frustrating for us as shoppers okay switching gears end of rant a little bottle top. I don't think that's especially good. And who is making this? Just says Crystal. <laughs> good job, Crystal. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that. All right, do we wanna go through the rest of hard goods? I don't think, which aisle did I skip? I might've skipped that one. Let's, let's backtrack. Let's go down this aisle here. I think this is the one that I started to go down and the other people went ahead of me. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Oh, what is this here? Oh, somebody made that $2.99 piece of pottery. 
That is quite nice. It's like a pitcher in a green wash. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my cart if I can find a spot. I don't wanna drop it, that person. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up here where I can keep an eye on it. Very nice find. I love pottery, pottery does well for me. All right, these aisles are very tiny, very narrow, I can barely fit. I'm gonna have to do the haul for you guys soon so I can get this clothing sorted, organized. Like I said, I really like doing hauls right in the store. Just find a quiet corner and just show you guys what I am picking up. I do like these also, $2.99. Bumblebees with vines. Are they the same bee? They're two different. Hmm, okay, so I would sell them together, $3 each. Made in Mexico, $6. What would I want for them, $35? I think I'm gonna go ahead and take both of these and put them on this little shelf down here. All right, don't let me pick up any more artwork. This small artwork's not too bad. And it is fourth quarter. Oh, look at this hand-painted cat. Mm, not so crazy about it. I don't know, I don't like the way that looks. That bothers me that the window framing, the window mullions, are these called mullions are crooked? Yeah, I'm gonna leave that behind for crooked window mullions. Okay, I'm seeing a lamp. This is pottery, I think. Is this pottery? Oh, that is quite nice. No shade. Hmm, mm -hmm. what do I think? Should I buy this for $8? I think I'm gonna wait on it. I think most people are gonna want a shade. I would like it if it was hand signed. I don't think it is. See that black piece underneath? It's almost like a, it's not a felt. It's almost like a rubber piece. I feel like this was sold in a store, like not Target, but you know what I'm saying. Now this shade, you would think would go with it, but I don't think that goes with that, does it? No, that's way too tiny. I love when I'm videoing and it seems like I miss something, which sometimes I do miss something, and you guys pick up on it like, oh, Karen, you missed the such and such. It is very hard to film and look for inventory at the same time and not like bang into people and yeah, it's a whole thing. But like I said, I appreciate you guys so much when you when you see things that I miss. Like, oh, you missed the thing and you give me the timestamp. Always helpful. All right, we have planters with artificial greenery. I don't think we need any of that. Okay, loud people. Let me try to go the other way. Halloween costumes. I do look through Halloween costumes to look for vintage pieces. A lot of times vintage items will get put in with Christmas sweaters or Halloween costumes. I always give a quick glance. I have found amazing pieces in this type of section. I have found silk smoking jackets, velvet ball gowns. I mean, kid you not. And a lot of times the pricing is good because Goodwill or other thrift stores think that you're using them for Halloween. So always check the Halloween section. I learned that tip from somebody long ago. I couldn't even tell you who told me that. All right, let's go to the last aisle and see if there is anything. I'm still waiting for my material to come out, if it's going to come out. Now, they said they had to reprocess it to put a price sticker on it, so I might not be able to get it. I think a new cart came out. I'm going to run down there. So, like I said, the little framed picture did not have a price, but the girl took it in the back and happily put a price and handed it to me. No harm, no foul. I got the picture for $1.99. And I am still waiting for the fabric to come out. This has got to be an hour later because they said the whole thing needs to be reprocessed. Here are the two picture frames I picked up. Now I did see that the glass is a little bit out of the frame, but I figured, okay, it just needs one of those little doodads that hold it in. Yep, that's the official name, doodad. And I took the two rubber bands off to make sure that the bottom one is in good condition. And not only is the glass cracked, but the frame is cracked. And of course they put that one on the bottom so you don't see it. So my best advice is you have to check everything in thrift stores. Now in their defense, this could have been dropped, 
with the rubber bands on it and they didn't know it, but I kind of don't think so. I think this had the damage beforehand. All right, so we have to put that one back, sadly enough, but it's always good to check. Okay, guys, so I have just set up a little hole in this corner, corner of the store. Hopefully, I won't be in anybody's way. We're just going to go through a few of the clothing items that I've found, maybe 20. We'll do a quick haul. This first one came out, and I was like, what is that? I thought it was Santana Knit. You know, um, St. John, St. John's? They have a knit that's very iconic that's called Santana. When I felt the sleeve, I thought that's what this was, but it's not. It's called Special Occasions Made in USA. When you see a tag like this, almost always it is vintage. Beautiful organza, big portrait collar. Look at these buttons. Fantastic. This is a skirt and jacket set. And really nice condition. I'm going to show you the label. $12.95 is the tag, so I will absolutely take that. I'm going to put this right in the cart over here. The next one that I found, let me, let me move this out so we can really see it. L. Anna Collection, again made in USA. Here is the tag, size small. Look at these sleeves. They almost look like a military, like a, like a, I don't even know what to say, not a military sleeve, but it has a cap over it. Gold lame trim. Who doesn't love gold lame? Do we love gold lame? Yes, we do. Beautiful rosette, again with a skirt. The same type of knit. I'm wondering if the same owner donated both. These are fantastic. I'm going to guess 80s. I'm thinking like Dynasty. Do you remember the show Dynasty? All right, so we're going to throw that one in the cart. I have a third one here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. We're just going to keep going. Here are a pair of pants. These are Spanx. I'm going to show you the tag. There it is there. I almost always pick up all Spanx. They do well. $8.99 for the pair of pants. They have like a tuxedo trim on them in a satin. So you can see that it has a little bit of a shine. No tuxedo stripe though. If you see a stripe down the side of the leg, that is called a tuxedo pant. So we're going to throw those in there. This is a Nike shirt. It's Nike Pro. I picked this up for Roger if he wants it. It's a compression. Great for running. Runners start to look for these in the cold weather, and it is definitely coming cold weather. Oh, this is going to be $2. He's definitely going to want that. He is at his other job right now. Here is the third outfit. <laughs> these things are just fantastic. Look at this beaded cross, we'll call it. It has a beautiful, like, Georgette filmy chiffon skirt underneath. I love items like this. So beautiful. Again, this one is $12.99. All three came out at the same time. This one is made in Switzerland. Oh, I forgot to show you the tag. This is called Ursula. There it is there. This is an item that I saw and I was like, oh, I want that, talking about being cozy. When I'm working at home and I sit at my desk for long hours, I always get cold. Soft surroundings. Let me just pull this off of here. $4.99. It's a small medium. It's kind of like a, like a shawl, poncho-y cape thing. It has a big giant hair on it. Let me see if I can get that off for us. Fleece lined that in the cart. North Face. I would not normally pick up a North Face that looks like this, but it's five dollars. So I'm going to use my judgment and just try to lint roller it and see that it's in good condition. Okay, a collective gasp is going to go through the gallery. <laughs> Casper. What? She picks up Casper? Never. But for two dollars. And it's kind of a cute print. I will throw that in my cart. I'll probably only get, I'm guessing, 12 12 14 for it but yeah we're gonna get that all right this one a lot of life is good shirts are on the floor right now most of them are full price but this one's gonna be two dollars that's why i grabbed it and it does have what seems like a little tiny bit of color transfer color transfer is when one of the dyes leaks into the shirt i don't know if you can see that it's so slight i thought for two dollars i'm gonna pick this up anyway because life is good. I'm going to throw that in the cart. All right. This blouse is backwards. It is Black House White Market. <laughs> I said that wrong. Black Market White House. White House Black Market. There we go. 
$6.99 red tag, it's going to be $2. Throwing that in the cart. This, I don't know what I have here. Forever Patagonia. I don't think this is the brand Patagonia. This is Chuffy. I liked the way this tag looked. I did not look this up yet. $9.99. Very much like the quality of this sweater. And check out this sleeve. Look at that sleeve. Is that a jabot? That might be called a jabot sleeve. So kind of like um, raised parts. And uh, yeah, I really like this. That's going in. Okay, here's the name. I don't talk about too often, but this is a good name. Rails, R-A-I-L-S. A lot of the items I find in that brand are flannel shirts. The softest flannel I have ever felt, $6.99. I love finding this brand. I have sold flannel shirts in the brand Rails for over $100. There is the branding down there too. All right, next up, this jacket. I think I showed finding this, $7.50. It's a velvet jacket, Tasso Ella, Tasso Elba. And it's just a beautiful velvet jacket that I will get for $2. That's why I'm buying it. It's in very good condition. Also, I meant to mention that if you find jackets, whether it be velvet or corduroy, always check the elbows because if the gentleman wearing the jacket pressed on the elbow a lot, it's going to have crushing that it's almost impossible to fix. Even if you steam it out, it's just crushed. Put that in the cart. Next up, I have not looked this up yet. This is Sportsman. This is definitely vintage. It is a wool and nylon flannel shirt. See a little pull here. Yeah, it's got a little pull. And with these shirts, if they are 100% wool, you really want to hold them up to the light. So we have a window here to make sure that there are no holes in it because moths love these shirts when they are 100% wool. It's kind of like a dinner bell. So I will definitely take this, though, at $8. I think that's still a good buy. All right, a few more, and then we're going to be done. This one is Gap. Fill off the hanger. Extra large. Again, $2. It's just a chino, and it's got an elastic waist, which a lot of wearers like. So I'm going to grab that. Here is a shirt I just grabbed on the way to the corner to do this haul. I saw this. This is weekend. Um... And in beautiful condition. And this one's going to be $2. I thought weekend, this is saying Suzanne Betro. I thought this was cold water, not cold water creek, uh, Chico's. So I think Chico's does put out a weekend. It might be a Chico's. And um, I kind of like that for myself. All right. A vintage San Francisco, California embroidered logo sweatshirt. $8. This is the tag. Gildan has a cut tag. And I think this will do well, especially around Christmas for the red and the green. These are harem pants. That's what I call them. I don't know if that's the official name. Look at that ruffle. And they have embroidery up and down the leg. I am paying $7 for them. And we're going to throw those in. And last but not least, I'm on the fence about this one. This is Jabna. This is Anthropology. It is a rayon. I'm going to call this a granny blouse. I think gunny socks used to do a lot of this style. Also could be called prairie. Prairie would be a really good keyword for this. Okay, I'm talking myself into it. $7. Really nice shape. All right, so you saw the hard goods. Oh, we have one more coat to talk about because I'm on the fence about this one. This one is very high priced, $20. This is J. Crew Black Label Mercantile. Beautiful coat. I'm gonna give this a serious thought. I think I can flip this for maybe 45. So 20 into 45. I do have to work on the cuffs a little bit with a shaver. And there are a few marks, nothing horrible. But for $20, I'm really going to give that thought. I might put that one back. I'm not sure. I just picked up three more Florentine trays. Look how beautiful these are. $2.99 for the large round one. $1.99 each for the two smaller ones. We're going to go ahead and add those to the cart. I'm also spotting quite a few other things that I really want to just pick up. Look at this wonderful pie dish, maybe. 
seems to be a certain clay. I don't know this. I'm going to say this is either, I don't think it's redware, $3.99. I really like the fluted edge, so we're going to go ahead and grab that, put it in the cart. What else did I see? Look at this little wheeling caddy. I don't think these are the original containers to this, are they? They might be. Let's take a look at this. Hmm. What do we call that? A conundrum. Oh, look at that. Okay, maybe they are the same. Because they're finished in such a different color stain, they do fit really nicely in here. All right, for $3, how can I say no to a wheeling? Oh, they're both sugar? Wait a second, wait a second. Now I'm really confused. Hmm, will somebody want two sugar containers? I don't think these could be jam or jelly because they're wood. Oh, I don't know whether to get this or not. All right, I might have to leave that one because it's just too confusing. But something gold is catching my eye. Is this a sconce? It is. I do really, really well with these. They have a screw. You can see it's a straight edge screw instead of a Phillips, which shows the age. Okay, we need a second one, but I am putting this one in the cart. All right, what shall we look at first on this aisle? Hmm. We have an elephant trash can. I'm not so enamored with that. All right, how am I gonna push two carts? I guess I'm gonna just push along. Knife block. Duluth trading. I like Duluth. What is this? Oh, it's a game. Pluto, Saturn, Mars. Huh, Space Force. I guess Duluth trading catalog had a game. So bear with me, I'm gonna be pushing and pulling carts. What is this little thing up here? Okay, it's $3.99. Is it a napkin holder? I have no idea what this is. Do the wheels actually turn? They don't. How would I even describe this for sale? Okay, the base does have a long crack. I don't think that's a deal breaker. I don't think it's a napkin holder. I guess it could have held like a salt and pepper. Somebody put that whole thing together. Hmm. If I can't think of any keywords, sometimes I have to walk away. That's one of the things I use to judge if I should pick something up or not, is whether the item brings keywords right to my mind. And if it doesn't, it's going to be hard to describe. I'm not sure if this is an antique or if this is a reproduction. I'm almost thinking this is older. Usually the screw tells the story and I don't see a screw. It might be molded from one piece. Let me see if I can peel this off, not kill my nail polish. Okay, no screw. $2.99 toothpick holder, I'm guessing. I really like this. Oh, there's the screw right there in front of me. Hmm. That does look older. I'm not sure. Leave a comment down below if you guys recognize this screw here. If it's even a screw, that almost seems like it's molded to look like a screw. But I really like this iron piece. We're going to go ahead and take this. Now, it does have a good amount of cobwebs inside, which doesn't mean anything. Spiders could have made those yesterday. All right, let's put her in. We're going to tuck her in right in here. All right, we're looking good. Okay, I still don't pick up pictures, but that's a pretty one. <laughs> no marking on the bottom. And the clay is very white. Doesn't seem to be as old as you would think. That is kind of cool, but pictures do not sell well for me. What else do we see? What is this? It is a butterfly plate. I'm not sure what that's used for. Could that be a microwave plate? No. Maybe you put a plant pot on top of it? I don't think it's just for decor. I think these mean something. Probably means I'm gonna put it in the cart, $1.99. All right guys, so that is today's shopping. Hit that like and subscribe button 
And as always, go out and get what's yours. All right, in this part of the video, we're going to pull some shipping together. These are items that sold in my eBay store. I did deliver a Facebook Marketplace um, item yesterday that was a great sale. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I talked about how I'm starting to go to fine art auctions, and that's quite a new experience for me. Now, while I go to a lot of auctions with regular household and vintage items, this is an auction where fine artwork and furniture is sold, and it was really cool. So hopefully in the future, I will cover some of that as I learn my way. But yesterday, in less than 24 hours, I shipped out this wonderful, I'm going to call it a cabinet, a wall cabinet, and a restaurant owner bought it from me. I paid $102 with the buyer's premium, and it sold for $225, like I said, in less than 24 24 hours. But right now we're going to pull shipping orders and let's take a look at what's sold. The first item is this Vera Bradley bag. Beautiful condition. This might even be new. And this sold for, let's scroll up on the phone, $62. I try to remember what I paid for things. Sometimes I can remember. Sometimes I'm a little bit cautious of saying what I paid when I'm shipping the item out. I never want a buyer to feel bad. Like, hey, you only paid X amount for that and I'm paying this. So um, all the buyers know what they're paying when they purchase it on the screen. That's the way that I feel about it. All right, let's go to the next item. The next item we're going to pull is, let me just go down. I want to pull this first. This is an Arctic white fox coat that I picked up. I had to do some research on it because my knowledge of genuine fur is not that extensive. $200. Let's go pull that together. I bought this for a few dollars, I'm going to say and I've had it for a while. These are the outdoor coats, and I have men's and women's now mixed. I keep these on a rack. All of this is normally covered. I take off the plastic for the sake of this video so you guys can see what's on the rack. And here is the coat right here. Um, I do not put this in bins because it takes up way too much room. Let's bring this coat into the light. Beautiful. This is in gorgeous condition. This is an eBay international sale. And here it is here. Just gorgeous. It is monogrammed on the inside, which I always disclose. Many custom pieces are monogrammed. And yeah, $200. I'm thrilled with that sale. The next item that sold is a ladies plaid plus Sherpa lined fleece shirt jacket. And I bought probably about 80 pieces recently at a retail uh, buyout. So I found something at a very good price point and grabbed carts and <laughs> filled my carts, bought them all. $23. We're going to go up. Oh, what size was that? Medium, did I say? Medium going to go pull that together. So whenever I'm out shopping, even if it's not for the item that I wind up buying, I go ahead and pick them up. Here are blue fleece in here. I have red fleece. I have pants. Um, yeah, so I went out <laughs> truthfully to buy one or two household items and came home with a carload of items that cost me $500. But um, that is the name of the game. This always serves me well. These fleece are beautiful. I'm looking for a medium. Let's see if I can find a medium in here. I think I only have one, so it should be in the bottom. Okay, and here is the medium. I'm going to take two seconds and put all of this back in here. So like I said, when I can get something at a very low buy-in, I go ahead and buy them all. That's always been my model. I do not do as much retail arbitrage as I do pre-owned. I buy more pre-owned, more vintage than brand new. But when I can make a good profit on them, and what's great about buying retail arbitrage is you're getting a lot of one thing usually. So it's one listing, you know, per size, and then you list it once and it just sells through. A lot less work with this type of thing, and they're all new. So that is a wonderful thing. $23 plus the buyer paid shipping. The next item up is a set of six bowls. I saw these in a thrift store and knew right away I'd be picking them up. This, I call this restaurant wear or diner wear. This is what the bottom mark looks like. Made in USA, Jackson, China, Falls Creek, Pennsylvania. 
I love stuff like this. It is quite heavy to ship, but people that are setting up like farmhouse kitchens and just retro kitchens really look for this. And when I see it, I go ahead and buy it. So I bought the six bowls, a couple of dollars, and they sold through for $50 plus shipping. So that was a great deal also. Here is an item that I recently picked up in a thrift store. This is the Bowl Maker Lucky Owl Cup, $17 for a single mug. That is the only reason I picked it up. Besides that, it is, here it is, a really good aesthetic. So this is what the bottom looks like, the Bowl Maker. Let me bring it in the light again. My basement is so dark and just lovely. Now you guys know I'm always saying no single mugs because I do still have quite a few mugs and selling mugs is not my favorite. Can you find and sell mugs that bring ridiculous money? Absolutely. But it is a very rare occurrence for me that I find a mug that sells for over $50. Not that I'm not open to that type of profit, but most times mugs being $1.99 will sell for under $10. That's just my experience. But here, this one is going out $17 plus shipping. The second set of plush cat and dog hanging Christmas tree ornaments sold. I picked these up at a yard sale on Memorial Day. I believe I got them for a dollar a piece. The first set had sold a few weeks ago, and we're going to pull the second set. So here are the plush ornaments here. They are new in box, all packaged, ready to go. It doesn't get much easier than that. And taking $1 and turning it into $15 is always a good thing. The next item is... Fashion jewelry, purple stone, citrine color. So it's a mixed lot. It's this bracelet, beautiful purple rhinestones, really nice casing. Uh, inventory G8. I do put inventories on my jewelry, and this set sold for $30. I want to say I bought this at the jewelry sale, Mount Joy Gift and Thrift. That's my memory of it. And I think they were having a 75% off. So I scooped up a lot of jewelry that day. This sold through for $30. I'm going to say I'm only into this for a couple of dollars and the quality is really nice. So great sell. And I'm hoping the buyer is really happy. The Vintage Brass Praying Hand Bookends sold $16. This was a small set of praying hands. This is all of my metal. I think the praying hands are in here. Yes, they are. These are a little bit smaller than the standard size, but I always include measurements in all the listings so that people can get a real sense of, you know, how big these are. Praying hands are probably one of my best selling bookends. People really like these and um, I don't find them that often. So when I do, I scoop them up $16 because they were smaller. If they were bigger, they probably would have been in the mid 20 to low 30 range, depending on the quality of the cast. A pair of shoes, Salvatore Ferragamo. And when you find Salvatore Ferragamo, it's my experience that if they are the vintage leather shoes, they're kind of a slow seller. $19.99, 7.5 C. I think C is a narrower width. That could be why that is the case of why they took a little bit longer. And I'm going to just browse through this really quick. I'm not seeing them. I don't think they're in box. They might be on the other side. I don't think these are them here, are they? Let's pull this one out and see who this is. Nope, this is Jonathan Raphael. Up oh, there, right next to them. Here they are, looking right at them. Okay. Really nice quality, I have to say, but like I said, Ferragamo in the vintage women's shoes. Uh, unless they're like a crazy good style, a lot of times they're a conservative pump. And um, they're in beautiful condition, but they took a while and only brought $19.99. I remember the first time I found Ferragamo, I thought I had struck pay dirt. I was like, oh my gosh, Salvatore Ferragamo. And yeah, they I think they sold for around the same price. Usually high teens, low 20s, but I'm still grateful for the sale. Lily Pulitzer, it's a pineapple blouse. And... Let me just go into it and see what size we're looking for. Although I really don't have to do that because pineapples are so specific. Extra large. I think that's a fairly recent um, listing. And Lily Pulitzer is usually, here it is, very easy to find. She has those signature colors. 
extra large, really nice condition, of course washed, $16. So I will take it off the hanger and fold it down. The green banker's lamp that I just picked up, I think this was last week, sold through. I did lower the price that I would normally put on this because it did have a flaw that I missed when I was filming. So when something has a flaw, I really try to put the word flaw right in the title so the person is really aware, even before they click into the listing, that there is an issue with the lamp. I let this one go for $22. This isn't an especially antique one. I'm going to say it's vintage, probably 1990s. Here it is here. I'm going to show you the floor. Let me just put it here. It has a very slight, slight, what we call a flea bite chip right at the very edge of the glass. There is a, a sanding block that you can buy for glass and you just rub it and it evens this out. So hopefully the buyer will do that. And um, yeah, so this is in great condition. Otherwise, handcrafted glass and it sold for $22, which I'm fine with. I'm still making a profit. Here's a typical bread and butter item. This is Love in the City, New York and Company or NYNC. And it sold through for $11.98. I got this. Um, I believe either in a free bag or the dollar sale. I wouldn't normally pick this up and pay more than a dollar for it, but um, $11.98 is not bad if you're into it for a dollar or you received it in some free um, donation. Sometimes people know what I do for a living and they'd rather give me the clothing and then drop it off at a Goodwill. And I'm glad to do that and take clothing from them if I know who they are. I don't do it for you know strangers, random people. But if it's somebody in my family, like when my older sister comes to visit, she always brings me a bag of family's donations, which I very much appreciate. When when it becomes something that somebody is donating to me and it's very good stuff and it's on a large scale, I absolutely pay for that stuff. I give them a kickback, what I call, and I'll give like $100 for a couple of bags or something like that. But when it's a sister or like one of my daughters or whatever, we're always trading stuff back and forth. So pretty sure I got this one for free. It might have even been from Melissa, Fresh Bloom and Clothing. So honey, if this was you, thank you so much. Eleven ninety eight going out the door. We're going to pull two men's sports coats uh, not the same buyer the first one is Evan Pacone and it is a brown corduroy $16.49 and this one John White's $24.99 it has elbow pads or patches all right we're going to pull both of those I think the first one the Evan Pacone is already folded down and put into its correct tote so these are the men's blazers and suit jackets I don't think I have a sport coat separate. I think this is it. Let's pull this out and see what we have in here. Uh, Burberry's, Ralph Lauren. This might be it here. Yep, Evan Pacone, the Bonton 40 regular jacket. And I think the other one is hanging on the rack. I'm gonna throw this on the table this way. Sometimes you guys who are new to my channel ask me why I don't get a rolling cart. Number one, pushing a cart doing this is actually more work because you're just wheeling this cart around. It gets crazy. Um, but I like doing this. I like this whole process. All right. I think it is this coat here. Let's take this into the light. This reminds me of the typical like English um, elbow patches, tweed. You know, all the good keywords, beautiful jacket. I love these leather buttons. These are real leather. How beautiful. There are the patches on the elbow. Now, don't go running out and buying every sport coat that has an elbow patch. <laughs> but um, if it has a good name and it's a good solid style, it will sell. They do take time. When I measure sport coats for men, I do a chest measurement from underarm to underarm. One other measurement that I always include is across the shoulders in the back. Men seem to really need to know that. So I go the middle of the shoulder across, usually around 17 or 18 inches. And it really helps the buyer know whether it's going to fit properly or not. All right. So what did I say for this one? I think it was $24.99. Yes. So there are those two items. I'm going to take them. Well, I'll take this one off the hanger and kind of organize the table and we'll keep going. The next item is no surprise to me. Johnny was $99.50 for a blouse, a pre-owned blouse. 
you got to love Johnny was. Right away I see it because it's so beautiful. I just obsess about this company. You know what? I look at a lot of clothing, a lot of clothing. I look at tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of pieces of clothing every year. And when you see Johnny Was, it's just so beautiful. The attention to detail. Like, look at this cloth covered buttons. And then this is all embroidered along the edge. Look at this collar, even their tag. I always swoon over their tags. This is all embroidered. How beautiful. Silk blouse, $100. A lot of times the thrift stores don't know this name, so I really shouldn't be advertising it, but I can't help it. I always want to help you guys find these tops. Nothing pleases me more than when you guys write to me and say, hey, because of you, I found a Johnny Was top and it sold for over $100. I can't love that any more than I do. So great job, guys. Keep looking for the Johnny Was because most times it's a really good pickup. Here is a brand that I don't know if I've spoken about in a while, Jag, J-A-G, Jag Jeans. This is a pair of women's stretch denim shorts, $22.50 for pre-owned shorts. You got to love that. We're going to go over and pull those. Um, I didn't know about Jag jeans. I don't remember when I learned about it. It wasn't at the beginning of selling, probably only a couple of years ago. All right, regular shorts are here. We're going to pull this bin into the light. And um, I do quite well with these. Now, certain styles will bring a lot more money than other styles. You really have to just run comps on Jag jean shorts. I'm sure the pants bring good money, too. Let's see if I can find them. They should be in here. If they're not in here, they'll be hanging. There's American Eagle. Oh, I see a dark pair. Jag jeans, six. Denim shorts, $22. I'm going to imagine that I paid probably, I'm going to say under five for them. So there they are there. Jag jeans, you want to look for that name. And this last item that we're going to talk about together is Artists in New York, size small. This is just a layering top, a good basic, $15.88. So not everything I buy is as fancy as a Johnny was, you know, fur coats. I do a lot of just everyday clothing, and it's really the backbone of the business. Now, do I find a lot of good items because I've been doing this so long? I do. I really do. When I look at the racks, I I can really spot high-end clothing better and better each year. My skills are being honed. But I'm going to tell you what, a lot of my store, when you look at my eBay store, it's just normal stuff that anybody could find. So I'm just giving you that little disclaimer to encourage you guys that if you're thinking of getting into doing this, even part-time, not on this level, but even just to make a few extra dollars a month, this definitely can be done. I have thrifted in a lot of different states. I have thrifted out west. I've thrifted in Florida, of course, just all over the place. And no matter where I go, yep, some thrift stores are higher prices, but generally you can find good bread and butter items and make some really good profit. All right. Love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.